Hey everybody, Mike Bain here with my first ever voiceover video. I'm going to do my best not to sound cringy like my little brother when he talks about video games. This is the first video in a series of powerful builds geared towards fighting bot. I've always preferred PvE over PvP in Souls games. Honestly, I'm just not that good at PvP. Check out Chase the Bro if PvP advice is what you're looking for. To respect your time, I'll clearly explain the build at the beginning of each video, and then show a few boss fights where I explain how to use it. I would appreciate it if you watched the entire video, or just let the boss fights run in the background after seeing the build details, as that would help my channel out with the YouTube algorithm. Alright, moving on to the build. You'll want 80 int, as that's the soft cap for spell scaling. I like 40 mind because right around there is the max FP replenishment you'll get from your Cerulean tier flask. You actually only need 16 strength and 11 dex to wield the sword and I'd recommend leveling Vigor to 60. For my flask, I have the Magic Shrouding tier to boost magic attacks. This applies to both your spells and the sword. The sword's charge attack uses a lot of stamina, so I opted for the Green Burst tier to replenish that quicker. On to the weapons, Dark Moon Great Sword is a soul staple and is amazing with this build. It fits the Ronnie character because Ronnie actually gives it to you as part of her quest line. The staff we will use is the Carrion Regal Scepter, this is Ronnie's mother's staff, and it boosts the Ronnie's Dark Moon spell that we'll use. The armor is Ronnie's set, and her hat actually boosts Cold Sorcery, a further damage boost to Ronnie's Dark Moon. Ronnie's set doesn't actually have arms, so I'd like to use Lusat's manchettes. I feel like it looks good. Moving on to our talismans, the first one is the Shard of Alexander, which boosts the Moonlight Greatsword weapon skill. The second one is the Graven Mass Talisman, and it'll boost all spell damage. The third one is the Magic Scorpion Charm, which boosts spells and the sword, especially the sword's charge projectile after activating the Moonlight Great Sword weapon skill. The final is the Ritual Sword Talisman, which boosts all attacks when you're at full HP. And finally, let's talk spells. You'll use Terra Magica for a huge damage boost. Ronnie's Dark Moon is used to proc Frostbite and negate enemy magic resistance. The weapon skill of the sword allows for insanely strong projectiles that don't cost any FP and also do frost damage. It's a great melee weapon as well. The next spell is the Shard Spiral, and it's used for large enemies like dragons, Estelles, and the Elden Beast. You free aim it through their bodies for continual damage. Finally, Loretta's Mastery is used for long range attacks, like for hitting the beast as it runs away. As a bonus, you can use this spinning weapon skill to do some serious damage, and actually it destroys ganks. I threw in a small PvP clip to show this later on. Alright, starting off with Malaketh here, and... Triple kill! Sorry, that clip was just too good not to include. Alright, let's move on to the actual boss tips. I'll start with Radagon, and I wanted to show the sword up close first. I do suggest you try to get good using melee attacks and dodges before moving on to self spamming. In my opinion, it's just a lot more rewarding when you can learn the boss's moves and take them on up close. This is one of my favorite things to do. You run away, cast Ronnie's Dark Moon, and dodge his powerful attack. The key to fighting these bosses up close is to time your dodges just right and then follow it up with one attack. Here you go, dodge towards it, attack, and then wait for their next attack, dodge again, and then sometimes you can follow it up with a heavier attack. When he does this move, dodge that first one, dodge the second one, charge it up, and then sometimes you can get a riposte. And then occasionally a tasteful tea bag goes a long way to build camaraderie. I ride on to the Elven Beast, and this is where you're going to whip out that shard spiral spell. Charge this spell up, but against these bosses, I really just recommend firing them off in quick succession. But at the same time, you need to make sure that you're watching the boss and dodging any attacks that it throws at you. Again, when you see openings, just keep firing that spell away. The Elden Beast is super annoying because it runs away a lot. That's when you bust out Loretta's Mastery. Similarly, you can charge this up, but again, I like to just fire it off as many times as possible. I found that it does more damage this way, and additionally, you do more poise damage, and so it's easier to get a poise break on the Elden Beast. Jump that attack, and then again, run towards it and prepare your shark spiral. So I got a little greedy here and kept firing when I should, I was trying to dodge, so I got hit. 
But it worked out because, due to that Loretta's mastery and all the shark spiral spells, I broke the poise of the other beast really quick. Again, that shark spiral just does amazing damage. And then it's always fun to finish it off with Loretta's mastery. Alright, on to Millennia, and this is usually how I'll start boss fights. So I'll cast Terra Magica, and then while standing in its range, I'll fire off Ronnie's Dark Moon until Frostbite procs on the boss. Then I'll activate my Moonlight Greatsword and charge it. So here we go. Again, this charge projectile is amazing. It does excellent damage at no FP cost. It also really breaks the point of bosses and you can fire it off while at a safe distance. But again, you need to make sure that you're dodging, so don't get greedy. With phase two starts, cast Terra Magica, and then punish that flower attack by just spamming that Ronnie Stark to spell. I forgot to mention this earlier, but when Frostbite procs on the boss, everybody does 20% more damage against them. So it's a pretty powerful thing, especially when you're playing with other people. So again, you can just keep unleashing those fully charged attacks, but make sure you're watching out for when the boss targets you, and then respond accordingly. One thing to be aware of though, is that this spell, when it hits bosses, it does make it kind of hard for your friends to see. As you can see, that big cloud you might mess with the people that don't know how to fight the boss, so just be aware of that. These two knew what they were doing, so it wasn't an issue. Alright, so we'll take a break from bosses. I had dealt with this gank once, you can see there was a sorcerer spamming spell with two people pressuring me. So in this case, I thought that this was appropriate to do. All you have to do is, is use that spinning weapon skill, and look at that. Nearly 2,000 damage on the host. Really, you should only use this against ganks. Don't use one-shot builds and duels. Alright, on to the Elven Chad, Mr. Godfrey, or Horalu. This is one of my favorite bosses, actually, and I'm not too proud of how much I spammed in this fight. But I wanted to show this. I made a mistake here. You can see I kept spamming the spell, and that got me hit. So, again, with this, you know, it's easy to spam, but always make sure you're watching the boss, and if it's targeting you, don't spam. Make sure to dodge those attacks. So what's cool here is you can cast a spell and dodge that slam at the same time. Really fun doing that. Alright, on to Horalu. You can see in the background there's an Elven Bug build. That's actually my friend's build, and I hope to showcase that build here. It's a really cool um, rod build. And again, you can see here, cast the spell, dodge the attack. Didn't work on that second one, but... Horalu went down really quick. Alright, that's all the fights I have for you. I hope you guys enjoy using this build. Let me know in the comments section what you thought of this video, and if there's any bosses that you'd like to see in the future build videos. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you do so now. Alright, take it easy everybody. See ya.